Machinists use many different kinds of specialized tools. In this lesson, you will be introduced to some of the most common ones. Remember that the workplace vocabulary section works just like a dictionary. Make sure to use the vocabulary section if you need a little extra help learning the function of each tool. Let's take a look at the tools a machinist uses. Starting with presses. Machinists use various kinds of presses to replace hand tools such as hammers when force fitting parts together. Presses provide steady pressure without damaging work pieces. Presses are essential to a machinist's work. They are used to install and remove parts. Some of the other basic tasks we use presses for are for straightening, bending, and broaching. Broaching is a process of removing unwanted metal fragments to make the surface of a piece smooth. Now you see why presses are considered essential to machining technology. They have so many uses, and we only covered some of the basics here. Now let's take a look at some other tools that machinists use, like vices. In machining technology, vices are used to hold work pieces together. There are several types of vices that are used for different types of machining jobs. There are solid base vices, swivel base vices, bench vices and pin vices, or handheld vices for holding very small pieces. Vices are used for filing, hacksawing, chiseling, bending light metal, and assembling or disassembling work pieces. Now here's a group of tools you will recognize from around your house. Pliers. That's right, machinists use a lot of different types of pliers for grabbing, turning, and cutting. Let's take a look at the different kinds. There are slip joint pliers, interlocking joint pliers, round nose pliers, needle nose pliers, side cutting pliers, diagonal cutting pliers, and vice grip wrench. Now here's another group of tools that you will recognize. Hammers. Machinists use several different kinds of hammers. A maul is a hammer made for heavy hammering. Ball peen hammers are the ones most frequently used by machinists. They have a rounded surface on one end of the head. Another set of tools that you will recognize from around your house are wrenches. Machinists use different types of wrenches in the machine shop to loosen or tighten bolts. Here are some of the most common ones. Open-ended wrenches are double-ended and used to turn square-headed bolts. The two ends usually fit two different sizes. Box wrenches are also double-ended and are offset to clear the user's hand. The box completely surrounds the nut or bolt. These wrenches have the advantage of precise fit. Combination wrenches are also double-ended. One end is open and the other end is boxed. That's why it's called combination. Pipe wrenches are used for holding and turning pipes. These wrenches have sharp teeth and would cause damage if they were used on finished parts. Adjustable hook spanners are wrenches with a single end that adjust to different sizes. There are many other wrenches. We just touched on a few to give you a general idea of how wrenches work in the machine shop. Now let's move on to screwdrivers. Just like the ones you use at home, there are two basic kinds of screwdrivers used by machinists, standard and Phillips. They come in many sizes to accommodate the wide size range of projects a machinist encounters. The standard screwdriver has a flat tip and the Phillips screwdriver has a cross tip. The next tools we will be looking at might not be so common in a house. They are chisels and punches. These tools are used to cut off and punch out pieces or parts. Pin punches are used to drive out straight, taper, and roll pins. Drift punches are used as a starting punch to drive out pins. Center punches make a starting point for drilling. Cold chisels come in many shapes and are useful for cutting out rivet heads and welds. Hacksaws are one of the most frequently used hand tools in a machine shop. Hacksaw blades are made from high-speed steel and come in standard lengths of 8, 
10 and 12 inches. They are used to saw through metal blades, are either soft or hard, and have different grades of teeth to accommodate fine or coarse work. Files are another commonly used tool. They are used to grind or shape work pieces. Files come in various sizes, shapes, and degrees of coarseness. The coarseness of the file and the shape of the filing teeth determine which file is more suitable for the individual jobs. A hand reamer is another important hand tool used to finish a hole to an exact size with a smooth finish. Wrenches and other tools are used to rotate the reamer. Taps are tools used to produce internal threads and holes. The actual process of cutting internal threads and holes is called tapping. Tapping is done by hand and machine depending on the material and project. Dies are used to cut the external surfaces of round materials such as a bolt or rod. Like taps, dies come in various sizes and some are adjustable. The pedestal grinder is used for many hand grinding operations, especially sharpening and shaping drills and tool bits. We just covered a lot. Remember, you will have more time to learn about these tools before using them in a machine shop.